attention today. Philippines starts latest naval modernization attempt amid South China Sea tensions. Amid increasing tensions in the South China Sea with China and fears of how a conflict over Taiwan could jeopardize the country's territories in the Luzon Strait, the Philippines is looking to prioritize its naval forces in a revised military modernization plan. Despite Manila's encounters with China in the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, including the construction of several military bases on artificial islands and run-ins with Chinese vessels over the last decade, the armed forces of the Philippines remains under-equipped. Experts agree. The Philippine Navy has lagged behind many of its Southeast Asian peers for decades as a consequence of relative neglect as the country focused then heavily on internal security. This also resulted, most crucially, a neglect of the country's maritime domain. Philippine maritime interests, especially in the West Philippine Sea, have been compromised. Colin Coe, a research fellow at the Institute of Defense and Strategic Studies under the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies in Singapore, told USAI News. Following the 2012 Scarborough Shoal incident, which resulted in the effective Chinese occupation of the feature within the Philippinese, Manila restarted a 1990s-era Modernization Act previously set aside due to financial constraints. The revised armed forces of the Philippines Modernization Act called for the procurement of equipment, particularly naval vessels and aircraft, to raise the AFP's capabilities and deter further encroachment in the South China Sea. The Philippine Navy was set to spend over $40 billion on procurements in two four-year and one five-year long phases, known as Horizons, between 2013 and 2028. Today, only a fraction of the spending originally planned has been executed. The armed forces failed to complete the first two Horizon phases due to a lack of funds from the Philippine government. The funding shortfall appended the Philippine Navy's Strategic Sail Plan 2020. The 2012 Modernization Plan called for the service to procure six anti-air warfare frigates, 12 anti-submarine corvettes, 18 offshore patrol vessels, 42 missile boats and three attack submarines, as well as various amphibious and auxiliary vessels. Since then, the service has procured two frigates, three corvettes, six offshore patrol vessels and nine missile boats. As tensions with China have risen over the last year, Manila has started to revise its plan. Following incidents at Scarborough Shoal, 2nd Thomas Shoal and elsewhere in the South China Sea in 2022 and 2023, the Philippines has bolstered its naval deployments to the region. Philippine lawmakers also pledged increased funding for the Navy and Coast Guard. Vivid images that show Chinese ships colliding with and water cannoning smaller Filipino boats contribute to gaining that buy-in from the voting public. Ray Powell, director of the Sea Light Project at Stanford University's Gordian Knot Center for National Security Innovation, told USN News. Manila's asserted transparency campaign of 2023 pushed military modernization from one of many budget line items to a national imperative. This is a crucial, tangible way in which transparency contributed to Philippine national resilience against People's Republic of China coercion, he added.
In January, Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. approved the $35 billion acquisition list put forward by the armed forces of the Philippines for a revised version of Horizon 3 almost equivalent to the total cost projected for be the original program. In contrast, the previous administration only approved $5.6 billion for Horizon 2. Dubbed Rehorizon 3, this revised phase seeks to not only obtain new equipment, but also remove inefficiencies, streamlining the procurement process and developing a better defense strategy. Secretary of National Defense Gilbert Teodoro told reporters that the Philippines has to marshal the resources of making the best of what we have making sure that acquisitions made are supportable and sustainable, and redundancy is built in. We have said that the AFP and Department of National Defense will not be a vendor's paradise. We will not consider ourselves a vendee but a client. We will demand performance from all our proponents, Teodoro said in a Philippine Daily Inquirer article. Teodoro blasted inefficiencies in the modernization and procurement laws, calling them cursed. Alongside Re Horizon 3, the new comprehensive Archibaldic defense concept put forward by Philippine defense officials brings an increased emphasis on naval and air forces for the defense of the country. In this strategy, the traditionally internally focused AFP is envisioned operating offshore in the ease and beyond.